Huh. I can now switch on or off this ceiling LED bulb remotely. How cool is that? At our ancestral home, I have converted the interior and exterior lights to LED several years ago. All except for this one in my mom's bedroom, which still has an old circline fluorescent lamp. Today, we're going to convert that to LED and even upgrade it with this wireless remote control E27 light bulb socket switch. In Lazada, this sells for about 700 pesos, but we got it on sale for 300 pesos. It comes with a remote controller, its holder, and the E27 light bulb socket switch itself. I'll cover these in depth later, but first, we need to convert the light fixture on that ceiling. Hey there, this is Handyman007, and if we're just meeting for the first time, hello, and my passion is building, fixing, and improving all sorts of stuff at home for my family, and sharing with you what I have learned from experience and from others. For safety, before tinkering with any electrical wires, never forget to shut off the appropriate circuit breaker or the main fuse box. I've already done that off camera. What we need next is a trusty ladder so that we can now reach this old circline lamp and release it from its three metal brackets. And disconnect its plug. Then with a wrench, let's loosen the lock nut that holds the lamp holder housing. While grasping the housing, cut the wirings above it. The mounting plate is attached to the ceiling with 3 to 4 wood screws. Let's remove them one at a time. Remember to support the plate with one hand unless you want it to drop on your head. Pull out the wirings from the center hole and get rid of the old fixture. Cut the electrical wires to the desired length and strip the tips for later. You should strip about half an inch from the tips. Now we need to prep this E27 bulb socket to mount on that ceiling. To do that, we cut two pieces of solid electrical wires about 3 inches long. Then strip one side about a quarter of an inch and the other side about half an inch. Cut as necessary to arrive at the right measurements. Now insert the quarter of an inch strip side of the wires to the sockets plates and screw in tightly. This is how they should look like up close. Then we twist together the respective wires with the wires from the ceiling and insulate all exposed connections with electrical tape. Make sure that the connections are fully covered so there's no risk wires coming in contact with each other. Once you have accomplished positioning the wires so that you can press the socket flat on the ceiling, time to mount it with the screws that came with it. Now we're ready to test our connection, so let me turn on the circuit for that bedroom. What I like to do is test first with a cheap light bulb, so if something goes wrong, it's a small price to pay. Testing in 1, 2, 3. Okay. 
One more. Good. Last one. Nice. Thank you, test bulb. Good job. By the way, let me explain for a minute why I consider converting from the circline fluorescent lamp to an LED bulb is an upgrade. There are many reasons why LED trumps fluorescent any day, and number one on my list is energy efficiency. Looking at the specs of the circline lamp, it consumes 32 watts, and it barely illuminates the room. My test LED bulb is just 7 watts, and is equal if not brighter than the lamp. In a way, it's about 75% more energy efficient. And now, let's talk about this wireless remote control E27 light bulb socket switch. E27 simply means it can hold a bulb base with a diameter of 27 millimeters, which is the standard diameter for 220 volt screw in bulbs in the Philippines and even in Europe. The remote controller is powered by an A23 size battery. Here's how small it is relative to double A's and triple A's. The good news is, convenience stores like 7-Eleven also sell A23 batteries. This E27 socket switch is where the magic happens and is actually the one being controlled remotely to turn on or off. Oh, and in case you're curious, the standard in the US is E26, a millimeter smaller and designed for 110 volts. You might also be wondering what the E stands for. Edison, of course. Okay, now let's screw this in. Followed by our test bulb. For now, I'm just gonna test using the conventional light switch by the bedroom door. Switching on and off a few times. Good. Now that we've seen everything is okay, I'm gonna replace the 7 watt test bulb with a 10 watt LED bulb because the lumens this generates is the optimum relative to the size of this bedroom. From here on out, the light switch by the door should always be in the on position for us to use the remote control. Here we go. Huh. I can now switch on or off this ceiling LED bulb remotely. How cool is that? 